Have you got one of these, a Prusa Mini? I love this little printer. It prints great, but sometimes you just want to print faster. Well, Prusa recently released a alpha of a new firmware to make this print faster. In fact, I printed a 50-minute Benchy, 26-minute Benchy, 16-minute Benchy, and a 12.5-minute Benchy. It's not the prettiest, but it's great for quick prototypes. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Prior to this update, if I printed a 3D Benchy at a 15% infill using the 0.2 speed profile with an Prusa slicer, it would take 1 hour and 10 minutes to print that Benchy. Prusa announced the 5.10 Alpha firmware update, and this includes three main features, input shaper, pressure advance, and precise stepping. Input shaping tries to filter out changes in acceleration and deacceleration, so you can actually print faster and get rid of the ringing. Pressure Advance does a similar kind of thing for the flow. There's a variation in flow as you print faster. Pressure Advance tries to correct that. And then there's precise stepping. And this is to control the steppers in a higher resolution to get more accurate movement, again, at high speed. Prusa has a full explanation of how to install this update, but it says you need to have version 4.4.1 firmware installed in your machine first. So there's a link, you click on that, it'll take you to the 4.4.1 page if you haven't already installed it. There's two files, or .bbf files, copy those to a blank flash drive, and then you insert that into your printer, and then you just click on the reset button, and it'll load those two .bbf files and update the firmware to 4.4.1. Now you can go back to the 5.1.0 page, download the .bbf file, there's only one file for this update, copy that to the flash drive, hit reset, and now your machine is updated to version 5.1 alpha. When you start your machine, you do get this message that warns you that this is an experimental firmware, so keep an eye on your printer. It does warn about getting the belt tension right, and mine had this issue. It kept banging its head at the X stop. It followed that with this annoying error message. The installation instructions include a link to this helpful guide to show you how to fix it. But I was lazy. I called my buddy Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd. He said he adjusted his screws so they're flush to the end, and that fixed it. So I did the same. The tension seemed good, and it did. It fixed mine as well. That's why I call him. He just knows stuff. Now, part of the download also includes two sample G-code files. One's called Bonkers Betchy, which is a 16-minute print. Another one is a 26-minute, which follows the speed Benchy rules. Now, in both cases, I could see this thing was moving fast. I couldn't really tell one from the other. In fact, I took video clips of both. They both look fast on film, and I didn't record which was which. But at the end, this is what they look like. Pretty equal, actually, in quality, and both fast. Now, those are pre-configured G-code files. I wanted to slice my own, and in order to do that, I had to download the latest 2.6.1 of Prusa Slicer, and then go into the configuration for the printer and select the alpha version of the Mini. Once I had that, I selected it. There was only one profile, a .2 speed profile, so I selected that, and then just some basic PLA. I sliced that, and it said 50 minutes. So we've taken 20 minutes off from that original version that said 1 hour and 10 minutes. After watching the 16 and 26 minute version, this seemed slow, but the quality was clearly much better. There's definitely a little bit of room for improvement to make it even smoother, but this is an alpha. I'm pretty happy with the results here. And the estimate was spot on. This took 50 minutes to print. I posted some of this on Twitter, and Joseph sent me a special 12.5 minute version pre sliced G code file. I tried that, and this thing just flies. It's almost like a vase mode Benchy, but this thing just flew. And I'll tell you what, for only 12.5 minutes, I'm impressed with how solid this thing is. It's not bad, especially for a quick prototype. What I like most about this is this is an older machine, and Prusa is still supporting it, and now just with a firmware upgrade, I didn't have to spend any money. I have a higher speed machine. Now in order to get faster prints out of that Ender 2 Pro, I had to play with my Cura profiles. That's why I have my extra fast profiles. You can download them. There's a link in the description below. My latest 5.4 versions are available for Patreon supporters or Thang membership supporters. But Creality isn't updating the firmware on this, but this is still being updated by Prusa. I love that support. And if you don't have one of these, you can actually buy these because they've been around for under $300 on eBay. I've seen these go for under $300, fully assembled, working machines. At least that's what they're advertised. 
for under 300 bucks. So the fact you could buy that, put the new firmware on it, and be printing faster, I love that support. So the mini printer market has actually been around for a while. I've reviewed this one. In fact, this has linear rails, which some people really like. People have put clipper on this machine and got it printing really fast. I haven't seen much improvement on that as far as speed other than my profiles. So seeing it on this print much faster is a really nice upgrade. And now there's new competition coming in to this mini market. So maybe it's going to take off again, but I've never gotten great feedback that people like this small bed size. I personally think it's great. I use these all the time, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or buy a membership through Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.